Happy after work story. Yes, it is the last day of summer, <laughs> according to the calendar, September 20th. And hey, to everything, there is a season and we're embarking on a new one. But the last few hours of summer, let's enjoy a book. Isabel and the Invisible World. And this is by Alan Lightman. And illustrations by Ramona Kolitsky. Physicist Alan Lightman unlocks the invisible. Oh my goodness, so he is an actual scientist and a children's author? Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. He unlocks the invisible by exploring light waves in a delightful story about a curious girl. Uh oh. Let's see, is this gonna work because of reflection? Hold on, guys, hold on. Let me see. Let me see, let's do it like this. Okay, so this is, okay. All right, no reflection. Okay, cool. Mm -mm. About a curious girl and the ingenious present she is given for her birthday. All right, so let's see what's going on. Isabella is intrigued by the invisible. There's only one gift she wants for her birthday, a way to see unseeable things. Well, I can tell you how to do that. <clears throat> when her mom presents her with a prism, a dazzling world of previously invisible color emerges. Lighting up the air around her, what else could be out here or out there? waiting for her eyes to discover. In this charming story brought to life with illuminated artwork by best-selling illustrator Ramona Kalitsky, Ada and the Galaxies author and physicist. This is gonna be interesting. Unmasked the hidden world of light waves, the ones you can't see and the ones you can. The young readers are gonna enjoy this and the old readers too. Oh, I wish you could see all the colors. Let's see. Let me see if I can put up maybe a little more light. And make sure that the music is not just drowning out. Okay. We love music in the background, but we got to hear the words. All right, let's go. Isabel and the invisible world. Ooh, am I tired? Oh my. Whew. That's a good one. Excuse me. Isabel always wanted to see invisible things. Can you see this light? Can you see it? Is this best? She always wanted to see invisible things. Look at that. Mom is just chilling out while she's looking for things that she can't see with a naked eye. Okay. Isabel's friend, Genevieve, oh, I don't know if you could see this. Genevieve said she had an invisible pet rabbit, which she took for a walk. Okay, so you see that? Did you have an invisible friend? I remember when I was younger, I said I had a brother that I didn't have. My mom said that she would have named me Christopher Jason Murph. So for a little span of time, I acted like I had a brother. I had a brother, Ronald, an older brother, but I acted like I had another brother. Well, I was younger, but that was my imaginary friend. Mm-hmm. I think I just didn't want to be the youngest so little brother. Okay, here we go. Isabel had two pets herself, Lola and Millie, but she could see them. She wanted to see invisible things. Isabel had a birthday coming up. She was going to be six. So she's a five-year-old. Oh, I have so many 
Oh, I asked that question today. How many five-year-olds do I have in here in kindergarten? Yeah. So she's probably in kindergarten. She was going to be six. What do you want for your birthday, Isabel? And Isabel's mama asked that question. You're a big girl now. You deserve a special present. Would you like a new bicycle? Asked Isabel's mother. Your old one is broken. Isabel shook her head no. What? And she doesn't even need training wheels either. Girl, go on. Would you like a toy castle? Asked Isabel's papa, father. Isabel shook her head no. Now look at that. That looked like King Friday's castle in the neighborhood of make-believe, Mr. Rogers. I used to love that. When Mr. Rogers would put the prop on the shelf in the kitchen. Yeah, same, same way. Or someone could say that looked like white castles. I don't think so, because it's not stacked like that. But anyway, she said no to both gifts. I want to see invisible things, said Isabel. Yes, 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 How Julian, Isabel's four-year-old brother in pre-K. Um, said Isabel's mother, who was a scientist. Yes, STEM. I might have an idea. What, said Isabel? It's a secret, said Isabel's mother. You have to wait until your birthday. I don't want to wait, said Isabel. Be patient, pumpkin. Be patient. Oh, that is so cool. You don't see that that much. STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, and the mama's rocking. Yeah. Isabel began planning her birthday party. Let's see. She decided to invite her parents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. They're hosting it. <laughs> her brother, Lola and Millie and Genevieve and her pet rabbit. Isabel made posters announcing her birthday. She put them around the house and in the yard. <laughs> Let me help you with that, said Isabel's mama. No, thank you, said Isabel. Oh. Okay. Independent five-year-old. Isabel made birthday party hats for everyone to wear. Oh, that's so cool. Can, can I make some of those, said Julian, a little four-year-old. Oh, he's helpful. You can make one, said Isabel, but just one. Come on now. He's trying to be a party coordinator with you. Let him out, help out. All the next week, Isabel couldn't think about anything except what her birthday present might be and how cool it would be if she could see invisible things. Isn't that something? And we, so ironic, we read about Mae Jemison yesterday and she always loved science and something else. Mm-hmm. Something dealing with movement, dance, creativity. Yep, exactly. She opened up a studio later on in life. And she be, she was a doctor and so much. But the thing about it is she had a love since childhood. Sometimes we have to go back 30 years, 40 years to uncover, to unearth what's really deep in our, our heart. Okay, finally, Isabel's Birthday came around. Oh, look at that, look at that, everybody's happy. Yeah. Yeah, we celebrate, but make sure when you celebrate a birthday, you celebrate the mother who carried you, if she's around, and if she's not, still thank her. When she was finished eating cake, Isabel said, Mommy and Daddy, I've been waiting a whole week for my special present. Here it is, pumpkin, said Daddy. Oh. Whoa, look how big, whoa. What is it, asked Isabel. It's a prism. 
It lets you see invisible things. Watch. Let's see. Look at that mom, her smart self. Look at that. Oh, like the rainbow. How cool. Wow, shouted Genevieve. Yay, yay, hollered Jillian. Look at all the colors, said Isabel. This is really cool. Why was it in that big box? I'm not sure, but it's really cool. All those colors were invisible before, said Isabel's mother. Now you can see them. What makes it do that, asked Isabel. Curiosity, that's right. That's when you can really learn, when you can ask the questions and great questions. So what makes us be able to see the colors? Oh, this reminds me of my lamp. Here it does, let's see. See this lamp over there? Colors. Well, let's see. All those colors were invisible before, okay? Well, let's see. Light is made of lots of colors, said Isabel's mom. You can't see them because they're mixed together. The prism separates the colors. Hmm. Wonder do the angles have something to do with how straight the beams are, right? Yeah, let's make it symmetric. Okay, let's see. I wish I could see those colors all the time, said Isabel. Me too, I love colors. There are even colors of light redder than red, said Isabel's mother. They're called radio waves. I want to see radio waves, said Isabel. Your eyes can't see radio waves, even with a prism, said Isabel's mom. But they're around us all the time, traveling through the air. Very nice. It's so cool to have a smart mom. I had a smart mom too. Mm -hmm. I wonder what other invisible things there are, said Isabel. And that's it. The invisible world. Light is energy traveling through space. The energy comes in waves, like waves on a lake. Most light, including the light from the sun, has waves of many different lengths, from very short waves to very long waves. Blue light has a short wave. It would take about 53,000 waves of blue light to stretch one inch. What? But red light waves are a little longer. It would take about 36,000 waves of red light to stretch one inch. Hmm. When light goes through a prism, it changes direction. Waves of different lengths change direction by different amounts, causing the different colors to spread out. The human eye can see light waves of only certain lengths between blue and red. Radio waves are light waves with lengths longer than red light. There are also light waves with lengths shorter than blue light, such as ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Our eyes cannot see radio waves or x-rays, but scientists have built machines that can detect them. Hey, and that's why they're so smart. They're curious. Thank you, Alan Lightman. He is a physicist, an educator, an acclaimed author for children and adults. His debut picture book, Ada and the Galaxies, are, was, was published by MIT Kids. Is that Massachusetts Institute of Technology? Is that the, the MIT? Kids Press in 2021. Oh, yes, it is. Listen, he is also the best selling author of Einstein's Dreams. Ellen Lightman has a PhD. What? in theoretical physics. And I complain about the work that I have. Uh-uh, keep on studying, keep on studying. And he's a professor of the practice of humanities at MIT in Massachusetts. Wow. And as far as the illustrator, Ramona Colitzi is an illustrator of many books for children, including Winter Lullaby. We're going into the winter season soon. And the number one New York 
Times bestseller, Sisters First. When she's not illustrating, she can be found somewhere outdoors or at the writing stable. She lives in Potsdam, Germany. I've been to Germany before where my niece and my great niece. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. This was a great book. This was inspiring. Listen, you don't have to be a scientist to ask questions. Be curious about what's around you. And most of all, learn. Cultivate that thirst of knowledge. Have a good evening. The last few hours of summer.